Hello everyone, Roy is back with another short video. So my old backup drive died. Okay, uh, let me show you my old backup drive. This was my old backup drive, a Seagate external 2.5 inch, uh, 2.5 inch um, backup drive. External drive, I mean, 2.5 inch, 4 terabyte, and it died. I had it uh, on my server, plugged in all the time, it was running all the time, but that was the case. Because all the other external hard disk drives spin down after a second, but this one kept running, running, running. Anyways, the head was damaged then and the platter won't move anymore, so yeah, this one is dead. So I took it open and to see what happens and what happened and whatever but yeah I don't care it's just a backup drive all the data is still there it's just for backup so to compensate this EP I've bought for 184 bucks as of 2019 March this external hard drive and I want to see if I can use it for something for example backup I want to put that onto my server as an external hard drive, but map it to a network drive and stuff like that, so I can I can uh, back up my entire computer lab to it, and maybe upload some video files to it, so I have them like backed up. Whatever you know what I mean, backup. So I guess we shall open that thing up. But first, coffee. Best stuff ever. Thank you for choosing WD. Monsieur de Fleur is choisi de de whatever. <laughs> I don't speak. I don't speak French. There's some inside. There's more inside. Are you sure it doesn't burn inside? Oh look, it's a power supply. Oh look, it's a... Wow, how to assemble a power supply. <laughs> nice. Oh look, it's an instruction manual. Oh look, it's a data cable. Oh, it's actually a one meter data cable. Let's see. I got a I got plenty of those cables, but mine are like 25 centimeters or shorter. I can't. I can't even get it. Uh, it's about I don't know. Uh, 70 centimeters, something like that, maybe. And that's our star. So there's nothing more inside. Two compartments. Yeah, looks like a small Xbox or something like that. So, yeah. How to assemble a power supply? I guess I need the European plug for that. Because I ain't living in America. That's not even America. What kind of connector is that? Is this British? I think this is British. Yeah, that's a great this is a British uh, connector. Um, I really need to like read the manual. I can't even get this stupid connector out. It won't budge! Oh well, I'll move to Great Britain then. It says... Whoa! <laughs> okay, you win. Great. <laughs> it's a f weapon. <laughs> okay, works. That works. So, this thing is assembled. It delivers, uh, let's see, I can't read. 1.5 amps, 12 volts. Input is 
I can't see. Input is, this is super small text, 100 to 240 volts, 50 and 60 hertz. So, universal power supply, of course. Yeah, what does the little manual say? Basically in 50 million uh, different languages, what it does. It saves your files. Thanks. I know that now. The more you know. So let's get that up. Oh yeah, our, our little power supply instruction manual. <coughs> yeah, of course. Never ever put that into the power socket alone. Oh, that's great. They're always funny. And yes, I know I'm German. It even tells you what kind of country that is. The two? Europe. Korea, Brazil, Chile. Five should be Australia. No, five is not Australia. What is five? Australia. Oh, okay. Whatever. People like that. People like doing that. Uh, where's the beginning even? Where's the start? Linus Tech Tips. Worst peel ever. It's a cr actually quite heavy. Is this like two hard disk drives? Let's have a look inside. Uh, yes, I had a light. Will you look at that? Maybe you cannot really see it, but this looks like it's a regular SATA hard disk drive. Don't you think? It looks like the reg regular SATA hard disk drive, but like really high. I, I don't really want to like... Um, disassemble this thing, but there's space for more. Interesting. A regular hard disk drive. Usually, like WD does the kind of thing where you have a, um, a special hard disk drive connector inside, like directly to USB. But this is not the case here. That's unexpected. Anyways, let's install it to my server, I guess. So, for now, this guy will reside here. Period. Oh, what was that? First data. And power. Oh, great. It doesn't fit. I just was listening to this thing vibrates really really good okay I'm gonna gently turn that over I know how uh, hard this drives how you know what I mean how careful you should handle them I'm gonna push push it back a bit I don't know back there I don't even have enough space that's annoying. I need to find another another spot for this thing. Because that can stay there. Well, all right. And there's like stuff on the on the my book, but bam. It is what it is. I'm going to give it a name. And I think I'm going to change yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to change the uh, drive leather. Oh, it's already S. Hmm. Bam. Like that. Uh, and there's my backup target. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to add a um, folder for like, um, let's say, like archive, okay? 
that I want to like um, share that to my network for me okay I want to disable caching because that only causes like trouble and I have full access good next uh, that should be it actually basically that should be it next WB admin I think my video was out of focus for quite a while sorry about that anyways um, my old backup target is was like F the 4 terabyte hard disk drive well that doesn't uh, that doesn't exist anymore select a folder where to save your um, yeah, backups. Of course, here. Can I even have a... What? It says it cannot store system uh, things. Okay, uh, change of plans here. I'm going to delete the volume. MBR? No, not MBR. Dynamic? No. Simple volume. Next, full size. Next, drive letter Z or Z. Format NTFS. Standard. Yeah. And that. Quick format. There you go. Now, let's do this again. Folder. Archive share share for me save turn off caching okay it's already turned off good like that and now let's see if I can uh, make this again I can do this again aha uh -huh. now it uh, allows me to like do that Okay, I want to save everything of me, everything of that, everything of that, and that. Yes. Basically, back up anything. Save it there. Yeah, I have to make that too. And then now it should say, ah. Good. That looks a lot better. That looks a lot better. Oh no, don't don't end this. Just leave it leave it open. And now let's see. I want to map this network drive. Can you see that? Yeah, you can. Map it. Z. Uh work with I, I don't like to work with um, host names because of DNS and resolution, you know what I mean? I want to do that. Uh, okay. Well then. Let's see if that works. It should be fine. Uh, should we do a, a net a speed test? Hmm. I think I should do that, yes. Let's do a speed test. What do we have here? Yeah, whatever. Let's copy that. It's 3 gigabytes. Well, for a... Like, it's doing a backup already in the background. But that doesn't look so bad. Mm -hmm. Okay, so and uh, another useful information, if there's no data connection to the external hard disk drive, the, the external hard disk drive is going to spin down. So basically when you turn off your computer, it just should uh, shut down too. So no problems there. That also means it should be running all the time while my server is running. Hmm. As you can see, we have a really flat graph. Like, 
the speed is 35 megabytes per, per second and it should be USB 3.0 but this looks like a USB 2.0 um, device on a USB 3 uh, port so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna exchange the cable replace it with the another a USB 3 cable that I have this one this one is a lot shorter but it should work hmm okay folks here is the body um, that's our drive it's really cramped in here and I really need better <laughs> I, need, I need more space but ah, it's not good so here's my body and I'm it's a lot to get off that's the old cable I'm gonna pull it out plug in a new one and try to get that inside again uh, with a small pack up up there somewhere that should be it okay folks let's test this I'm gonna copy a file over uh-huh look at that 112 megabytes per second I think that's a lot better yeah it looks like either this cable is damaged or I don't know it looks it looks fine to me hmm but a shorter cable works alrighty let's look behind this thing again and see what the temperature is like so it's been copying uh, stuff back and forth and let's see what the temperature is like that's 36 34 can you even see that 30 35 yeah, 36. It's copying. It's been copying uh, data back and forth, and it's really, really cool. All right, I guess that's it. It's my new backup drive.